I never wanted to go one-on-one -on -one with you again, but here we are. I'm working for Extra. Tell me about this process, man. I've watched a couple of episodes, and people don't fully understand how accurate of a portrayal this story is in the AAU community. Yeah, I mean, first off, the process of making a film and producing a film is a new experience, but it was fun. And being able to tell a story that we all know and having it come to life like that was special. And to build a cast and build a family around this brand was, was pretty sweet. And then to have it on Apple TV, I mean, that's just, you know, the, the brand of all brands, so it was special. Okay, so one thing that I want to, like, one of the things that you touched on is how social media is different than it was when we were coming up. Do you think that these kids have a, a, a harder job with all the social media where you can get grown men talking trash about you in San Francisco? Or do you think that like this social media kids are more aware of it? I mean, there's pros and cons to everything. I think, you know, if we had opportunity to look at YouTube and, and see our favorite players up close the way they do it now and mm -hmm. have opportunity to even maybe talk to some of our favorite players. So it's pros and cons to all of it. And, but also the criticism that comes with our game. And, you know, we're conditioned as young players to, to take that and uh, understand it, but it's on a broader scale now. Yeah. You're seeing it from everywhere. So it's a lot of pressure, but, you know, that's what our sport is, and that's what competition is. And, you know, the kids now are pretty are ready for it earlier than we were, though. Yeah, no, so you did an amazing job with the casting. Jace, o o o O'Shea Jackson, you had so many impressive people in this. What was the what was the biggest thing that you took from this personally, going through the casting, being able to tell your story? Because this is your story. So how much hands did you have in the casting and just being like, oh, no, these individuals get it? Yeah, I mean, I trusted everybody with the process, but one thing I wanted it to be authentic to what we do. You know, I wanted real hoopers out there, for one, and yeah. they did a good job of finding everybody. But it, it worked out, I mean... It's the perfect cast, and I'm looking forward to people seeing the season. Yeah. Okay. So, are we gonna see us? Are we gonna see a season two with it? We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I just want to say we've never formally met. Your son has beat me many, many times on the basketball court. But my mom's name is Wanda, and I, yes, it is. That is my mother's name. So when I grew up, and then watching it, you like really harvest this young man. You have done an amazing job. Let me first say that. Thank you. Same as your mom, though. I'm sure. I've seen you out on the court. You've done your thing. Look, look you know, we're just trying to keep up. We're trying to keep up. The first time I ever met Kevin Durant, I was like. Oh, this is going to be a problem. So how proud are you to see that not only is he a basketball player, but he is using his brain and his influence to really influence the entire culture? Well, I'm extremely proud of him. Turn this way, Mama. we got to get you on um, camera. Thank you. I'm extremely proud of him. Um, his influence off the court is impeccable. I like the things that he's doing. I like that he's bringing light to the um, activities around youth basketball and some of the pitfalls and highs and joys and lows of basketball. So I'm excited, and I'm proud of his off-the-court activities. Activity, of course. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.